In a matter of weeks, people visiting downtown Oklahoma City will have a new way to get around. A streetcar system that sets the stage for a regional transit plan for all of central Oklahoma. The rail has been laid. Signs have been posted. Oklahoma City is about to launch its modern streetcar network. Uh, voters approved this project, which equals about $135 million to build a 4.86 mile streetcar system. So what's phenomenal about this is that it's a debt free project. The plan is to begin service on December 14. You can say everything old is new again. This is the second go around for Oklahoma City. Uh, again, we're bringing back something that hasn't been in place uh, for more than 70 years. We're reintroducing, uh, you know, a modern streetcar uh, to a city that once knew a really great massive system. Embark is trying to make its bus service more useful, not just by adding routes, but by increasing the frequency. Uh, we've increased uh, frequency to nearly 30 minutes on every route. Uh, we're working to create uh, even more uh, frequency with 15 minute corridors where you're going to have a bus every 15 minutes. Along with the streetcars, buses will start running on Sundays soon. Embark's bike sharing program, Spokies, was recently added to the public transportation list of options. That's been, you know, a big interest and we've seen a 44% growth over the last year in just usage of that system. Embark would like to do more, but there are hurdles. Uh, but without dedicated funding and without a concerted effort to regionally provide transportation services, uh, it's going to be really difficult to provide those options that our current uh, commuters and residential base is really demanding. A recent fixed guideway study is leading the way to help build out new transit services across central Oklahoma. And out of that fixed guideway plan also came uh, the commuter rail study that's taken place and then the regional transit dialogue that ACOG's been leading. So we're just building on plans and studies and efforts uh, that's been a strategy at least since early 2000. The Association of Central Oklahoma Governments has been working for more than a decade to bring communities together for a regional transit plan. One of the issues we have in central Oklahoma is obviously we have some congestion from time to time on our interstate system on our local streets. And one of the things we really need to do is to try and find other ways of moving around options or other opportunities for people and choices. ACOG is working with six cities to create the regional transit authority. Edmond, Oklahoma City, Moore, Norman, Dell City and Midwest City. And we've been visiting with them over the last many, many years, but over the last six months or so extensively to try and create the actual RTA. So far, five cities have signed onto the plan with the six expected to make a decision in the coming weeks. The next thing we have to do is do a more detailed study of our train system and from the standpoint of right of way, we're going to have to get right away in order to run trains from Edmond downtown to Oklahoma City through to Norman and also a streetcar system from downtown Oklahoma City out towards Midwest City and Tinker Air Force Base. It will take an agreement between the participating cities to reach the goal of forming a regional transit authority. That's one of the great uh, challenges that an executive director has is trying to pull together the region and to create a, a regional vision. While most of the work has gone unseen behind the scenes to develop that regional vision, it is beginning to fall into place for ACOG and its participating cities. Being patient and methodical, I mean, it's taken, what, 13 years to get to this stage in the process, but it takes a lot of work and effort and it starts to pay off. For the plan to be successful, Mark Sweeney feels all those who have a stake in the vision need to be involved. You have to get the input from the citizens, the elected officials, all of the players and, uh, that are involved in the process. Additionally, ACOG will need to assess the costs and possible ridership for the system. Then the organization will work with the member cities to fund the project. Uh, sales tax is the way that this system can operate. That's the way the state legislator has given us a chance to do this. So um, we'll have to have a sales tax vote in those six cities in the future. John Sharp says that could be two to five years before voters will be asked to make a decision. Planning for a regional transit system now could avoid future traffic and air quality headaches as central Oklahoma continues to grow.